folks, I am Ultrazilla, and this is my review of the Revoltech Mini Dan Board. The plane, fighter plane version. I think this is like a, there's a 21 in there. I'll have it in the description. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know it before, but now that I just have the box here, uh, it just says uh, 21 ver in Japanese. Uh, lettering that I don't know. So yeah, there is a special plane that this is modeled after. And I did keep the box and why not show you a little box art nerd? Oh, how cute. Uh, right now of this because it's cool and uh, sometimes you have to keep a box. I've been throwing away a lot of boxes. If you saw my Instagram recently, I've been talking about that. Uh, but this is really cool because the inside is kind of like a F aircraft carrier aircraft carrier uh which is very very nice so you could put like you know fighter plane dan board on it uh so this is definitely worth keeping you know if you do get it um and i did get this guy on an hlj sale for like under 20 bucks under 15 bucks even uh i think it was like 11 bucks if i Recall, I couldn't pass it up. I've always kind of wanted one of these Dan Board figures. Um, you know, usually uh, you see them and they're like, like it, it's a brown, it's brown boxes uh, with a kid underneath. Um, you know, it's like a costume. I don't know the full, full, full history of Dan Board, uh, but that much I do know. So all of these are like outfits and it's become pretty popular in Japan. This one obviously is done from this special you know, particular plane uh, material. And that is pretty cool. That kind of attracted me a little more than uh, some of the other, you know, more box stuff Dan Board. But I, I might get something else in the future of Dan Board. And you, you, you'll hear why a little bit later on. But let's get into this review. So besides the cool box, you do get this stand here for uh, this Dan Board. You could just stand on it like that. It looks pretty good. Very, very nice. Again, it's kind of got that, like, aircraft carrier, like, line stuff on the bottom with a little uh, arrow. That's pretty cool. And the other thing you get is this uh, bomb on a strap here, uh, which is pretty cool. You can't take off his head. Uh, and then put this here. I, I didn't have directions in the box, so I don't know if I if there was directions in the box and I lost it. Uh, but when I just grab this guy now i didn't have it but i figured that's how you do it uh so you could uh have it like that it's a, it's a nice look like this i do like it and this little bomb looks kind of cool uh, i think it's a bomb it could be a little sub kind of looks like a sub actually let's let's, let's get, get a little better look at that now that i'm looking at it look at the top here it looks like a little submarine that might be a little submarine i don't know for sure but it does look good Articulation on this little guy. Head is on a Revoltech joint, so you got a nice range of motion despite it being a big box. Uh, the shoulders, same thing. You could swivel it, which is great. And you could go upwards. Nothing else in the arms. It's very limited articulation on this. Uh, the legs really can just go forwards and back a little bit because of the way it's uh, done. So not a ton of articulation. The propeller here does uh maneuver and that's pretty cool i'll just keep it here and show you uh the gimmick of this guy there's a little switch here and it lights up so that's really nice very very nice feature the light up gimmick is fantastic i you know there's some there was no batteries to put in the batteries are already in there um i wish more you know, figures that have light-up gimmicks came like this and were as good as this, you know, figure was. And again, I got this for like 11 bucks. It was on sale, of course, you know, one of their big clearance sales. But still, I think that's pretty awesome. Proportions on this Dan board, um, they're fine. I mean, I, you know, looking at other Dan boards, and this is a Revoltech Mini, which is the first one of these I, I've gotten. I uh, never had one of the Revoltech minis and never really had a need for it. Um, but I felt like this was like a perfect 
figure to get a Revoltech Mini of. I don't really need a bigger one uh, of this Dan board. And again, so, you know, looking at some other Dan board pictures of other ones, the proportions look right. Uh, otherwise, it looks really good. The head sculpt is awesome. I love the sculpt work and finish. Again, it's supposed to be plain parts and it looks the part. A lot of wear and tear. It's really, really nice, kind of like a Japanese flag there. Uh, and then you got some going down the arms. You have a lot of rivets and stuff. It looks amazing. You got some technical stuff there. You got a little thing there. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Uh, some numbers uh, from the like plain wings uh, on the side. The back looks good. Lots of wear there. The propellers look really good in silver with red trim, red trim down the sides. It just looks great. It's a really, really, really good looking figure. No doubt about it. Um, again, like this, when I saw this, and I again, I've wanted to get like a little damn board figure because I just always thought they looked cute. Um, when I saw this version, I was like, wow, I got to get this. This looks amazing to me. So there you go. Really, really nice looking figure. So someone that's taken a real shine to this Dan board little figure is Ultrazilla Jr. Who I have here right now. So uh, give us your thoughts on this figure, bud. I love that. What do you like about it? I I like... I like the airplane material. I like mm -hmm. the box suit. Uh-huh. What and about the light-up eyes? I love the light-up eyes. Yeah, and a propeller head? Yep. That's pretty cool. And I, I know uh, you've been looking up more damn boards on the computer, right? What have you found? When you look for the, the damn board stuff on the computer, what did you find? Combine. Yeah, there was one that was like, uh, I think it was a custom that somebody combined a bunch of the uh, the damn boards, the the, the, the the Amazon version. There's like Amazon box versions of damn boards into like a combiner. Did you? Yeah. So he really liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to you wanna try to make one of those? Yeah. That would uh, require me to buy some more damn boards, I guess. Um, but we're not going to use this damn board because we need more damn boards that are brown. Yeah, I don't have any of those. So at some point, maybe I'll get some. They are cheap enough uh, where you could do something like that. Uh, and it, it might be fun because this guy is pretty fun for sure. Thanks. <laughs> For your size comparisons, here's Dan Board with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is a great little figure. Love it. Uh, I love that this was uh, the Dan Board figure I ended up getting. Uh, again, I've always looked at them. I always kind of was interested, and um, but I was never super interested in pulling the trigger until I saw this one. Again, price point plus the look of it just made it like a no brainer for me. To try out and again Revoltech. I'm kind of a fan of Revoltech uh, in general. So yeah, this was a good one to get. Glad I did get it. As you heard, Ultrazilla Jr. loves it as well. Um, so it's a big win all together here and you know makes me uh, want to get maybe some more classic Dan Board stuff. Uh, so there you go guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below and if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, stay healthy. Till next time, peace out peeps.